What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. With this video, we are jumping into Moon Knight issue number 13. This is jumping us into a brand new story arc. Finally defeating Zodiac, but in doing this, it came at a great cost. Soldier had lost his life before Moon Knight literally just destroys everything about Zodiac. Before he puts him into a grave, we saw Stephen Grant, the persona, emerge from the consciousness. And he prevented this from happening. And I'm letting you guys know that this, this is an issue that you are not gonna wanna miss. Now, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we get into issue number 13, we are picking up with a man known as the Tutor, and he is having a meeting with Taskmaster. And the Tutor, he has hired him for some consulting work. Now Taskmaster, he's usually not one to, to do consulting work. He's actually quite surprised that he doesn't get called up more. The truth is, Taskmaster, he has been around for a long time, and he has fought against a lot of heroes. But today, the discussion is Moon Knight. Letting the Tutor know that the short answer to all of this is simply don't. Now the tutor, he is a vampire. He is not just any vampire. Right now, he is the head vampire in New York City. But Taskmaster is letting him know that Moon Knight, he is on a whole other level. The last time that Taskmaster had been sent after him, he had the full dossier. Moon Knight being United States Marine Corps CIA freelance mercenary. He is at home murdering people in South American jungles and African deserts just as much as he is in New York City. And what the Marines didn't teach him about violence, the CIA did. Not only that, hooking up with maniacs like Raoul Bushman, this finished his education. He is a blade that has been sharpened on many stones. And this, this isn't even the reason that he is dangerous. As we get taken over to Moon Knight, Moon Knight currently is hunting down vampires, and he wants the tutor. He wants the whole structure. Trying to figure out where the tutor's lair is, the vampire that he currently has is unwilling to give him any information. But this vampire does let him know that they know about him, and they also know about the defector that he keeps close to the chest. And they also know that she broke the rules. Moon Knight recognizing this guy's not going to give any information. And so he grabs him and he throws him into the sunlight. As this vampire begins to burn to a crisp, we are taken back to Taskmaster and the Tutor. Now the Tutor, he says that this guy, this Moon Knight, he's just a man. I don't understand how he could be more dangerous than you have already made him out to be. The truth is, the Tutor, the vampires, he says that they have transcended humanity. That they are a better breed. And the Moon Knight, he has no superpowers. So how could he actually be a threat to any of us? This is when the Taskmaster lets him know that Moon Knight, he is a bullet. When you put a bullet through a person, it comes out the other side, turned inside out, mushroomed, torn up, twisted from all of the soft tissue trauma it caused. That's Moon Knight. It also cuts over and shows us Moon Knight saving a bunch of individuals. Taskmaster continuing on, letting it be known that he'll come at you faster than the speed of sound, go right through you, and won't care two craps about it. Taskmaster unsure of who took a man and made him into that bullet. And to be honest, he doesn't want to know. But nonetheless, the tutor has a problem, and that problem is Moon Knight. Killing vampires, this isn't necessarily the problem. He can always make more vampires. The problem is that Moon Knight has defectors with him. Four vampires. Ones that had been taken from the tutor. But one of them challenged his exclusivity. That challenge was Reese. 
taking us over to Moon Knight sitting down with his therapist. There has been a lot going on and there is a lot to talk about. From the therapist being kidnapped to them taking down Zodiac and Stephen Grant showing his face. Which is a big deal because all of his other personas, they have been laying dormant for the last 12 issues. And so while they have their discussion, we are taken over to the Midnight Mission, having Tigra and Reese both sitting down, and, and Reese is trying to figure out who the freak Steven Grant is. Because at this point, Moon Knight has not told her anything, and Tigra is not interested in being the one to let her know exactly what is going on with Mark. Avoiding the question and avoiding the topic altogether. This is where we see Soldier step into the room. But Soldier, he is now a vampire. Reese just recently turned him into a vampire after Zodiac had gunned him down. This is the problem that the tutor has saying that no vampires are created in this city outside of his fear, sphere of influence. But with Moon Knight really making more vampires, this is a challenge to his rule. And so this is where he offers Taskmaster a crap ton of money to go and take down Moon Knight. And Taskmaster, he lets him know that that's not happening. Taskmaster was paid to talk, but it doesn't seem that the tutor is listening. The tutor asking if he's scared, and of course Taskmaster is scared. But it's not just him. Taskmaster telling him, you want to go after Spider-Man? You want to go after Daredevil? That might be something I will, I am willing to do. I might be willing to throw my hat into that fight. Like he has made a career after taking on Captain America. But Moon Knight, he crashed a freaking helicopter into a building just to get to Taskmaster. And so Taskmaster, he lets him know, I'm good on that. I don't need to live through my own personal 9-11 ever again. And he also lets him know, good luck finding anybody in this city that will be willing to go after Moon Knight. No matter how much money you throw at this, nobody in this city is going to be dumb enough to do that. And that's what takes us to a little bit later. With Moon Knight making his way through all of these vampires, this is when he runs into Taskmaster. And this is more of a professional courtesy. He didn't come here to fight. He came here to let him know that the tutor, he is out here trying to hire people to take him down. And so whatever happens next, Taskmaster wants Moon Knight to know he has nothing to do with this. He is telling him this because he is terrified of Moon Knight. Telling him he just wanted to let him know out of nothing more than professional courtesy. With Moon Knight saying that they are nothing alike. Taskmaster says he is right. They're not anything alike. They may have both been mercenaries at one point in time. But what Moon Knight is now is far worse. And that's what takes us over to the Tudor. And we have Newman and Grand Maul. The two individuals that have taken the Tudor up on his offer to kill Moon Knight. As they plot the destruction and demise of Moon Knight. We pick up at the Midnight Mission. Reese trying to get any information from Moon Knight about who Stephen Grant actually is. Letting her know that it will be another time they talk about this. Because right now he is getting this much closer to the Tudor and his layer of vampires not having the energy to dive into his multiple personalities when she leaves the room he lets the others know that it is time that they all have a talk the others being his other personalities and that will be the end of this issue so let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'm not gonna lie this is probably my favorite issue so far Taskmaster coming out and just letting it be known. I am absolutely terrified of Moon Knight. It doesn't matter how much money you give me, I am not doing this. 
and if Moon Knight were to find out I even had this conversation with you, he might come after me. So I'm gonna go let him know that the tutor is trying to hire somebody to take you out. That is how much fear Moon Knight strikes in those that fear him. But moreover, we have seen the vampire problem in New York City truly begin to rise. Even seeing this in the, the Captain Marvel series that is currently ongoing in issue number 39, Spider Woman and Binary are both attacked by an entire group of vampires that appear to also be freaking daywalkers. With all of this vampire uprising happening, it begs the question, where is Blade? Now, like I said in the Captain Marvel issue number 39, the last time I had read about Blade, he was the sheriff of the Vampire Nation, but I don't remember them actually doing anything with that storyline. Now, I could have missed it, and if I did miss it, let me know what I need to read to get caught up on that, and we'll cover it here on the channel so we can figure out where Blade is while New York City is suffering a vampire infestation. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get caught up on everything going on with Moon Knight. Be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. Now if you can't do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, make sure you like this video, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.